Hey guys, welcome back to how to build a firehouse part two or a fire station. So there's a couple more things I want to do on the outside that will help uh, bring a little bit more attention to it. So first off, you will need a tripwire hook. You will need some cobblestone walls and quartz stairs and quartz slabs. So the tripwire hooks, these will just go on the front of the doors here. You just put them in the very middle and kind of look like the hooks to kind of lift them up. So again, something really small that really adds a lot of detail. And also, we're going to come up to the top here, and in this big window, what we're going to do is the quartz slot, or the quartz stair that's even with this window closest to the doors, we're going to get rid of it, you're going to take out your cobblestone walls, and you're going to put the cobblestone wall here in between, and stack it up two more. And this kind of looks like an antenna a little bit. And next, the last thing we're going to do is, we're going to put a number five, kind of just like for... Like, this is the 5th precinct, or 5th fire station, something like that, just a number. And the 5 looks the best, in my opinion, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a upside down stair, and we're going to make this even with the windows here, and then you're going to put your slab uh, upside down, or slabs going underneath the stair, this one, and then upside down stair there, and then another, so it kind of looks like a 5, I don't know really how to describe that, that's why I kind of just did it this way. And if you want, you can even take your uh, cobblestone walls and have it connect with the S if you want to come down a little bit lower. Again, doesn't look bad at all, just a small little touch. But in my opinion, it just adds a lot more details to the back. And also, uh, if we come to the actual back, a couple things you know that we did with uh, the front here where it has the upside down, not upside down, but just the stairs in general. We could do that with these, a lot of these walls here. Uh, like we could do the exact same thing with this one which I'm going to do because again, it just adds a, a tiny little touch that I think makes the building look a little bit better instead of just the plain wall since we have so many of them and it's just something small. So there we go. It just adds a little more detail, but now let's get to, to the inside. So the inside and see, I already cleared everything out. So basically are already done with that. We're going to take out some snow and we're going to outline these doors here. So what we're going to do is, basically just outline the doors with snow and usually fire stations from what i've seen with the pictures at least are usually pretty clean and they kind of look a little bit modern on the inside so that's kind of what we're going for and so these are just going to come all the way over and across and voila something different and it just adds a little bit more character okay so next for the interior we will need either you can use yellow wool or yellow stained clay doesn't exactly matter what we're going to do is you're going to take your yellow wool or yellow stained clay and you're going to kind of outline, not outline, but you take it and have it come all the way back from the sides of the doors. Because I looked a lot of pictures up for how the interior looks and they have these yellow, yellow lines here for where the truck needs to be because the truck is supposed to be inside of these. Uh, and this kind of helps like for reference, basically. And basically do this on all three doors that we have. And I will take some night vision here in a second so you guys can see. Because it does look like it's a little bit darker in here. Uh, so night vision. And basically everything here in between. You're going to take your stone slabs. And you're just going to put your stone slabs here in between everything. The stone slabs are a little bit better than stone in my opinion. A little bit because they have a little bit more character to them. But at the same time... They look a little bit better. I, I've always liked the look of the stone slabs. The stone slabs, in my opinion, were just always more eye-catching. They were just a little bit better. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because I can actually see the block. Maybe it's the texture. Because usually I like blocks that uh, usually blend together very well. But with this, it's like perfect for sidewalks. Basically anything you want to use it for, you could do it. I wish they would just make it to where they had a full block just like this. Uh, just so we want to keep stacking them up all the time. And voila, now we you can kind of see where the outlines are. And even if you don't like how this looks, you there's another alternate solution because the gaps in between the doors, it kind of makes it all blend together a little bit too nice. And it kind of looks a little bit weird. So if you want to take like this regular stone and put this stone in between the doors, you could easily do that as well. There's nothing stopping you from doing this. We'll do it to see how it looks. Uh, but I honestly think this actually might look a little bit better because this might make it look a little bit better. So do the same thing here. And we may have to do this twice just because 
Uh, even though we have three doors, there's only two gaps in between each door. And also, you might be noticing as well, like, why aren't they even right now? Well, they're not even because we're going to kind of lay out the fire truck a little bit to see how long they need to be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, the truck stops here because the truck we will be making later on will, in fact, uh be 14 blocks long so we want the lines here to be 14 blocks and now we know how long to make them so just make every one 14 and then just expand uh where necessary with where are, there they are our stone slabs so it looks something just like this and voila now i'm not sure if we should use stone for the main floor or like what we should do with that because i do like the look of the actual stone itself so we might just go with the stone. So we're just gonna use regular stone for this. And we're just gonna fill the rest of this in with stone. Now we will add an upstairs and everything, uh, especially everything that we need. We will have that pole that you slide down if we can find a good spot for that. We will also have stairs going up. We're basically gonna hopefully have everything we need. We're gonna have shelving. And trying to like come up with some of this stuff will be a little bit harder because I want this to look as realistic as possible because I actually like this design. I've tried building firehouses before and I came across a picture online and it kind of gave me the inspiration for this design a little bit. So I'm trying to make it as close as possible to how it should actually look. And so we're just filling everything in with stone here. I could have done this off camera, but I figured, hey, you, most people like it when I do everything on camera because it shows that I'm not doing anything uh, like alternating it or doing anything like that. So we're just filling all this in. Boop, boop, boop. Almost done with this. I like how we're actually... This is actually looking really good. I'm liking how it's looking. It's definitely... We might add some like... A couple broken pieces. Uh, to give it a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're done with that. But now we need to add some walls. Because I want to add like a waiting area. Uh, and also we need to add stairs coming up, which we'll probably add over here, maybe. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take your snow out, and we're going to start it right here where the door starts, right here. And we're going to have the wall come all the way over and stop right here where this wall ends. And just connect the corners together. And we're just going to stack this up to be four tall. And one design you could even do, which I'm actually just thinking about now, if we take out white uh, stained clay. I wonder how this would actually look if we mix the two together. I don't know. I actually don't think it looks too bad. It gives a little bit more character. And we're just going to make this into a solid wall. You might be wondering, like, why am I not stacking it up all the way? Well, because we still have our second floor to keep track of. Okay. And then this goes on top of this. Uh, boop, 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 and stack this up one more, which we actually might, if we want to keep this, what we're going to do is put uh, the stained clay basically even. So we're having a lot more stained clay than anything else, really, uh, for this wall. And how's that look? Maybe for the corner block here, make this snow, make it like two blocks to get a little bit more white here in the mix. Cause I've been trying to think of like different more like different wall designs because the plain white it looks nice but it can also get old after a while. I'm, no, see that doesn't look right at all. Let's just have the one in the corner, and we'll just make the rest of this the stained clay. I've never done an interior for something like this, so I'm actually kind of nervous. My, well, I wouldn't say nervous, but I'm winging it as we go is the best way to put it. Okay, and let's add a door. Right here, we'll make the door uh, four tall as with all the other doors. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a front desk. And the front desk, we're going to use... Uh, what should we use? Maybe... Huh. I'm think kind of thinking wood. Let's go with spruce wood for now. We can always change it a little bit later on. And we're going to have the wood facing up. And basically... It's not going to be a huge desk, but it's going to be big enough to where uh, 
it's kind of like a help desk really it's basically like what we're going for here so here's the help desk and what we're going to do on top of this we're going to take out some white carpet and place it on top of this here and what this kind of does is gives it a little bit more look like a countertop and that's basically all we have to do for that area okay so we're gonna do take out your brick real quick and we're gonna make this into a solid corner so just have this come all the way up there we go all right now we need shelving shelving it's not gonna be too bad we're just gonna need uh we're gonna use red wool to kind of match so we're gonna need red carpet and red wool so red carpet and red wool well i kind of mixed the two up when i was getting them but you get the point point. and basically we're gonna make a shelving area so uh let's make the shelving area right over here so basically we're just kind of making every other block kind of look like like this and then you're just going to use your carpet to kind of make the actual shelves themselves oh let's get rid of that torch boop and boop now we have shelving like where the uh, where the firefighters would store all their stuff i actually think that looks pretty good uh let's take out some anvils and some of the anvils what we're going to do we're going to put them where could we put some anvils oh we need to take some more night vision because everything is looking pretty good so far it's like an organized we might add some more shelving over actually what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this into like a workshop area to where like this is where they get all their tools and everything we can add more shelving as well so shelving again let's put some anvils what else could we put in here we could use a uh, coffee stand maybe we will need a crafting table and a cauldron so we're just gonna kind of like put these here and okay and then we're basically gonna add there's like some small cabinets up here for aesthetic purposes i'm pretty good now if we want to make these look a little bit better you will need anvils and you will need cobblestone walls which we both have in our inventory and then we will also need item frames now for the cabinets up here we're gonna put the item frames on all these but for the ones up here we're gonna use the cobblestone walls because it kind of looks like something you would pull open and we're gonna make it sure it's facing up just like this and then the ones on the bottom we can either do the same thing or oh we can even do uh anvils for these uh which if we do the anvils we will definitely need signs which is not that bad to do because these are these could be like more pull open uh let's take out a couple signs and the signs will just go behind the item frame so it should look something just like this the ones on the bottom look like you pull them open more to where the ones on top look more like you would actually uh, pull it open. Which we might change the... Uh, we're going to make all the cobblestone walls turn sideways. There we go. That looks a little bit better now. And voila, now we have that area done. Actually, I'm liking this a lot. We're looking really good so far okay let's see what else do we really need uh that looks basically it for now i mean we could put i'm trying to think of like some other things that we are gonna need uh let's look at some of the new stuff that we have so we have beacons uh ba -ba 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 -ba. we could put note blocks dispensers and kind of look like machinery and stuff uh Oh, yes, we're definitely going to use a hopper for something. Okay, so we can kind of make this look like the siren. Or like our stereos. Uh, we can make this like another work area. So like these could be the sinks. Uh, let's see, what else could we do? We're not going to have three note blocks. That's a little bit obsessive there. Maybe a dispenser. 
Make it look like a vending machine, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't exactly look right. There we go. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. I mean, we might do some... If I come up with more ideas, we might do something with that. Alright, but now we're going to move over to the top floor. So the top floor, we're going to use oak wood planks. So, basically, your windows are going to start... Or your second floor is going to start right underneath the windows here. And we're just going to make this into a solid wall. Or not wall, solid floor, really. And we're basically just filling all this in now. And how much time are we at? Oh, let's see. Doesn't look like we're at too much time. We're looking pretty good so far. Uh, bu bu bu. I'm trying to think of some other things that we could put. Oh, I got an invite for Assassin's Creed Unity, which is a great game. Uh, I've been playing that a lot. I actually beat the story pretty quickly, but I played it for like a two days straight. Uh, but while we're filling this in, might as well talk about it. Uh, great game. Definitely needs some work and like polishing. Because I feel like Ubisoft has been pushing Assassin's Creed out a little bit too fast. Because the, they know how popular the game is now. And I feel like they're just rushing it a little bit too fast. Which I kind of wish they wouldn't do. But hey, what are we going to do about it? They're going to do what they want as long as they're making money and people are buying it. So we're not really going to have a say in all that. Uh, Looking pretty good. I'm actually really liking this firehouse. I was kind of skeptical about building this for a tutorial, uh, but after seeing like how it's coming together, I'm actually liking this a lot. Uh, it's definitely the closest thing I, I could probably have made to a firehouse because I want to go for something that it was still kind of modern, but it, you know when you see it, it's a firehouse. And that's the whole goal is because I looked up a lot of pictures for firehouses and fire stations to see like what they look like because there's so many different designs for them. Uh, ones in cities always look a little bit different. You have the ones in towns, which are more a little bit like this. And so I was trying to find that happy medium of something I would actually enjoy to make and something I would actually be happy with. And I feel like this is actually something I'm happy with because it does everything I needed to do. It looks like a firehouse, which is the hardest part, in my opinion, really. Whoop, and okay. But anyways, we'll get back to that later. So now we have everything. Uh, what we might even do, we need buttons. Uh, we're going to clear our inventory. We're going to need lime. Actually, let's go green and red. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to put different colors here. And what these will kind of represent, actually, should we put them on top? We're going to put them on top here. Now what these colors are going to represent is uh, go or stop. So we're going to put the red on the left and green on the right and just do the same thing. Whoop. And okay. I mean, I guess that doesn't look, it doesn't look the best, but it will do for now. Uh, let's use beacons and the beacons. What we're going to do is we're going to put the beacons uh, on all four uh, things here. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Uh, how, ooh, I actually have an idea. Really simple. Just put them in between here. So just put snow here. And just do something small like that. Voila. Snow. Red. And boom. Beacon's there. There we go. It lights the place up a little bit better. And we have light. So just do the same thing. Uh, this is taking a little bit more time than I thought it actually would. Whoop. Because we're already... We're actually flying through this pretty quick, but at the same time, we're not. Uh, ooh, brick, brick, brick. We need a piece of brick here. Red wool, and boom. Okay, now that will definitely light up the place a little bit. All right, but now we need to add stairs going up. We're going to use quartz stairs and maybe quartz slabs as well. So, uh, let's see. Let's have the stairs coming up from here. And we're just going to have the stairs coming all the way up to the second floor. And basically just get rid of all of this. And what we can even do is we can make this too wide if we want. Because we have the space for it. Because we have plenty of space. There we go. I'm actually... I don't think that looks too bad. 
Uh, bu bu bu. what else could we do for that? Could we add a dividing wall? Uh, maybe add snow and just do something like this. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. And let's make this into a solid... Uh, I actually kind of like if it looks like this a little bit. And then if we put snow like underneath these. And have like a snow pillar connecting it like that. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. It kind of looks out of place. Uh, we'll keep it for now, but this until I come up with a better design, we're going to keep... No, let's get rid of it. I can't stand it looking like that. We might just make a solid plain wall just covering it up. Uh, so we might even just leave it like this for now. But let's come up here. So up here, we need to have a cooking area. We need to have beds, obviously. Like, so this is where they sleep. Uh, so let's use our snow with our white stained clay again. How about we have a relaxing area here. We'll have the cooking area be over here. So we're going to use gray wool. And this will be our counter. Boop, 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 boop. And we're basically just making a kitchen over here. So we need our hoppers back. Where's the hopper? I saw it somewhere. Oh yeah, it's in redstone. So the hopper will be our sink. We will need furnaces and crafting tables. So we're gonna put the furnace right here. And we'll put the hopper. Uh, we'll put the hopper over here on this wall. Okay, and gray wool will just go on the top for uh, cabinets. Uh, also need a refrigerator, which we'll use block of iron. Which refrigerator will go here. Okay, and I'm kind of like going through this pretty quick because I'm just kind of like laying it out with how I think it would go. Uh, the We're going to need a lot of beds, so we'll put like every other will be a bed. Because they definitely need a lot of beds in places like these. Uh, so, we'll make this. I'm actually not sure what to do with the top up here. Because I know we need a relaxing area and all that. So, we'll take out gray wool again. Uh, we also need brick. Uh, which the brick is here. And we also need light gray wool and light gray carpet and some string and some just regular snow because we actually have stackable snow finally what we're gonna do is make a tv uh three wide i guess would be pretty good with two tall and let's see what could we do could we just like cover it up like this because i don't want to do too much because it could Look pretty good. All right. That's not too bad. Uh, maybe just cover this up. And we'll leave that window over there. And what we're going to do. We're going to have the light gray on both sides of the TV. The string will go on this top block. So we can have the light gray carpet come across. And then last. We're going to need bookshelves for underneath. Boop, 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 boop. Looking pretty good there. And then the light gray goes on top of the bookshelves and then voila there's our TV and then what we're gonna do using our snow we're gonna make a couple couches four five okay and then we're going to make uh, little couches here one two three I actually like the stackable snow we finally got stackable snow which definitely took quite a while to get which kind of sucks for us builders because there's so much you can do with stackable snow with design, like design wise. So really happy that we finally have it because we definitely needed it for us builders for a very long time. Two, three. Ah, actually, that looks pretty good. Nice relaxing area. 
We need a... Uh... I'm not really sure what to do with, like, all this space. So, we need snow and... Oh, man. I'm, I'm honestly, like, I don't know what to do with some of this. So, let's try out with making a wall. Which, this will be where the beds go. So, we'll make the beds here. So, I'm not going to put up the wall because we're already running pretty uh, high on time. We're already at 25 minutes. But what we're going to do is I'll show you guys where to put the beds. So, how about we put the beds up against this wall. And put them like every other two. Okay. Oh. And we're looking pretty good. There we go. We'll make the door right here. Ah, oh, man, I'm honestly not sure what to do with all this space. What could we do here? Could we put the... Ooh, we could put the one thing here, the thing where you drop down. So let's take out a fence, which... Uh, let's throw that away. A fence is... They moved everything around on us. All right, here we go. And, oh, come on. Come down. And this will be like that sliding pole that you slide down. We Okay. Uh, boop, boop, oh, that's the wrong stuff. Have a small little dividing wall here. Uh, boop, 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 boop. And we'll actually just make it even here. I'm kind of just like dividing the walls for you guys. Uh, we'll make the bathroom. We need a bathroom. We'll put the bathroom here at the end of the bedroom. And we can have a door there. And we can have a door here for that. Eh, we'll just have one. We're actually not going to, we're going to leave it here. There we go. And I'm not really sure what to do with the rest of this, guys. I mean, I have ideas, but we're running low on time. And there's not really too much else that you guys really have to do. I mean, you could add, like, pool tables and stuff in the rest of this area. Uh, I would definitely look at some other designs because I'm sure a lot of you guys know some better designs that you could do. Which I'm just kind of, I don't know what to do with the rest of this yet. But the, we're going to call it quits for right now. But for the doors, what we're going to do is the doors are actually pretty easy. All you're going to do is take glass panes. And we're just going to stack them up like this. And it kind of looks like a open door. And you can do this with every single door. So we can do it with this one. And, oop, and do it with this one as well. And this really all depends on which way you want to face it, too. Because these actually look like they're realistic when you do it this way. So I'm going to do it on this side. And like this. And voila. Now we have every single door covered. And also, this is one thing you guys don't have to do. But it does kind of add a unique design to it. And what that is, is say... If we take out a hook, one of those hooks, uh, which here they are, a tripwire hook. If you want to make it look like the door is open, what you can do is we can make this into a solid like that. Let me dig this out. And you can kind of make it look like the door is a little bit open. And that way, it looks, it gives a little bit more design. You can kind of see into it a little bit. But yeah, but... You guys should let me know on Twitter. Like, send me the pictures of, like, what you guys did with the top floor. Because I'm not too sure what to do with it. I think the bottom floor we're good on, though. Uh, I'll have to think of some other stuff to do here. But, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated. Again, let me know on Twitter. And follow me on Twitter. Uh, for news, when videos are updated and uploaded. Uh, subscriber days, which I'm going to be trying to start up soon again. Because I do miss playing with you guys. So... Bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.